man from Lincoln who was held hostage in Iraq for two and a half years has been telling LSJ News about his ordeal. Peter Moore was working as a computer consultant in Baghdad in 2007 when he and four bodyguards were kidnapped. He was the only hostage to make it home alive. You know, I think in some ways the British stiff upper lip kind of kicks in. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not going to let them get me down sort of thing is, is, is sometimes how I feel about it. Um, you know, I, I got through this and I don't want the militia to think that they've, they've got to me in some way. Our reporter Darren Moss was in our newsroom watching that. Darren, a remarkable story there. What else did Peter have to say? Well, Holly, Peter's experienced more than most of us could ever imagine. He told LSJ News about the enormous amounts of time he spent alone in captivity, the three months he spent blindfolded, the one and a half years he spent chained to a grill in the wall. After months of counselling and endless debriefs with the military, Peter has said that the biggest thing that's changed in his life is his perception of risk. He says that he now takes the risks that most of us wouldn't take. Peter's now back in Guyana continuing his work. He says he has no plans to return to Iraq for the present. Thank you, Darren. A local mental health patient is desperate for something to be done about waiting lists for mental health services in Lincolnshire. Gemma Coburn has this report. Here in the UK, one in four of us are likely to experience a mental health problem at some time in our lives. And out of those illnesses, the most common problems are anxiety and depression. In Lincolnshire, there are over a thousand people who have mental health needs and Emma Freeman is one of them. As the spending review has made many people worried about the health care they will receive, there are also worries about how this will affect waiting times. Emma has been diagnosed with manic depression since the age of 14 and believes the wait to be referred is too long. It needs to be easier to get help. It's really impossible sometimes to wait three or four months to get referred to a psychiatrist and someone that might actually help because you actually have to live those couple of months and often you really don't go and get help until you really, really need it at the GP because it just seems like too much of a hassle or you don't want to admit that you've got a problem or many reasons really. The Lincolnshire Partnership Foundation Trust has said in a statement that it is too soon to know exactly how far the cuts will affect services, but priority must still be given to making it easy for people to get help when they need it. This is Gemma Coburn for Lincoln News. Now, have you got your costume for Halloween sorted? Well, our reporter Simon McKnight has been looking at what Halloween is actually all about and joins me live from our newsroom now. So Simon, can you tell us where is Halloween from? Well, Holly, it is originally from the Celtic festival So An, which translated means summer end. However, it is also connected to the Christian festival All Saints Day, which falls on the 1st of November. I went and spoke to the Right Reverend John Saxby, and this is what he said. It's a shame that a wonderful celebration of holiness has been turned into something rather trivial and trite and a little bit kind of corny. So I think we need to get over Halloween as a society. You know, it's so yesterday. Let's get into so last century, so last millennium, which is holiness. Holiness lasts forever. Halloween will come and go. Well, I can certainly see Simon in his devil costume this weekend. And now the weather. Cloudy skies today with a high of 14 degrees and wind re reaching 20 miles per hour. Tonight sees a low of 11 degrees and a slight risk of rain. And finally, poppies go on sale officially today. It's a time to remember the soldiers that have fought in wars past and present. Well, if you have missed anything, you can log on to our website at lsjnews.co.uk and watch the full summary there. That's all from us here today. We'll be with you next week.